That's taking up a huge amount of time that frankly I don't have. Greetings to everyone who's watching my videos. I want you to know I really, really appreciate you watching my videos. And I'm here to e-bag. No bones about it, I'm here to e-bag. I have allowed you to join me in my extremely expensive old Ford Focus so that I can ask you to give me money. Ooh, is that microphone under the seat belt? Of course it is. Here's the deal. What I do and what I would like to do are two very different things. Right now, I do a lot of computer repair, um, but computer repair is not what I want to do long term. There are two major things I would like to do long term. One is write software, the other is make videos, eh, sort of like this. If you've ever watched the tutorial videos that I have made in the past for various things, uh, just in general, I like making videos that educate people about technology and self-empowerment and such. I like to teach people things like, for example, one of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel by far has been a video about getting a brake piston caliper, a brake caliper piston unstuck. And that video, it, it's huge. It was shot on one of the worst video capable cameras that I have. Ooh, it's bright in here. But it's one of my most popular videos. Um, several, I made several videos teaching people about how to do certain things in GIMP. Um, image stacking in particular, um, and HDR imaging, but the image stacking one especially, I'd, I'd have to say it's my most popular GIMP tutorial video. How on earth is it this bright? I just drove into the sun. Sorry. Uh, but I'd like to make a lot more tutorial style content. I'd like to be able to do just so much. I want to make better I want to make videos with higher production value and I want to make videos that help people more. The big problem I'm running into is that computer repair pays the bills. Computer repair videos are great. Don't get me wrong. The, the wonderful thing about computer repair videos in general is that computer repair videos, a lot of people are afraid to do it and they think they can't do it, they're intimidated, it's a scary thing. What if you break this expensive thing? And I want to show people that they can, but here's the problem. Computer repair videos are great in and of themselves, like for each individual machine. They are garbage as far as being able to do this stuff on an ongoing basis. So what I'm up against is that I need <laughs> I need your support. I need your money. I need you to give me your money. Um, one time is great, but subscriptions are really what I'm trying to get my hands on. Uh, I don't really have anybody on Subscribestar. I've added a whole bunch of payment platforms, the, the Ko-fi, K-O-F-I, and PayPal, um, Flatter. I'm not going to add Patreon just because Patreon has committed multiple cardinal sins in the past. Ejecting people for their ideology really upsets me. I don't think businesses should be in the business of telling people how to think. So I won't be on Patreon because of that. But um, ignoring the Patreon thing, if you want to hop on Subscribestar and support me, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. And I'm back out of the sunlight. And I think I turned it down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the whole problem I'm, I'm facing right now is that computer repair is very much so my bread and butter. Video production is a minor side gig for that, especially my professional paid video production. So ultimately what I need is for people to see the value in what I do and more specifically in what I could be doing. Um, so if you're watching this, if you've gotten this far, 
I'd encourage you to go look at my GIMP tutorial playlist, the GIMP image editor. There are so many things you can do in that. I, I have learned so much, even just recently, I have put together several different operations in GIMP to make all kinds of interesting effects. You've seen them in your thumbnails, or in my thumbnails, rather. And it, just look at my thumbnails. I'd like to be able to teach people how to start with nothing and make a really cool-looking thumbnail like that, how they can do it, too. And it's, it's only a few operations away. Um, I would like to do more videos on the subject of getting into video, really. There are so many people who already do this. My problem with the people who do videos about doing video is that a lot of them try to come at it from the perspective of a professional. Um, a lot of them also make assumptions that I think are wrong. That Believe it or not, there are quite a few of the most popular video people in general <clears throat> who I take issue with what they tell people. For example, there in video there sort of seems to be this inherent assumption at this point that anybody who shoots professional video, like, you know, higher, um, you know, they, they big stuff, just in general, that the pro thing to do is use a log profile, and that's bull. That's bull, because I've seen what log profiles do. Even with 10-bit color, they still are a huge pain. And beginners shouldn't be using log, and even if you have a camera that can do log, that doesn't mean you should use log. So uh, I want to break these assumptions and show people that, no, these people that are making things seem complicated, they're full of it, okay? They, they are already up the ladder, and they're so far distanced from the bottom of the ladder that they don't really understand what it's like down there anymore. And I'm able to bridge that gap. I'd like to make videos about technical subjects. You know, I've had, um, I've had a, an image on my computer for two months or so, maybe three months, <clears throat> that is nothing but a color pattern. It's just a grid of color pixels, just fully saturated pixels laid out in a specific pattern so that I can demonstrate how chroma subsampling works um, and how it affects your picture and just stuff like that. These things that normal people don't even think of like when they do video. Like what, what is 420? What is 422? I'd like to be able to show that and I don't feel like what's out there does a very good job of explaining it to normal people. More specifically in practical application, how does it affect the outcome of what you're doing? So, I mean, you can hear my head's just bursting with all of these great ideas for videos, with all of these things I'd like to teach and show people how to do. Um, I'd like to move away from the style that you're watching now. I don't like making these kinds of just off-the-cuff talky videos where it's not scripted, it's not thought out, it's just me babbling into a camera for 20 minutes or whatever about whatever comes into my head on a particular subject. And you know, some of those videos that I've made in this style, they've come out very nicely, but <laughs> that's not all of them. Quite a few of them I'm not really proud of. It's more just, I make a lot of these videos, especially the political videos, where I just talk about politics, are not well produced because I'm just trying to get some thoughts out of my head, just put them out there. I'm not trying to spark a discussion or, or anything. All I'm trying to do is think about something and the videos are sort of me, a combination of presenting why I think differently and also thinking it through in more depth and figuring out new things even as I make the video. I don't really like making videos like that though. I feel like they're cheap, they're not necessarily interesting. I tend to talk in circles, I tend to talk for too long. I would really prefer to make better produced videos, but I need the time to do that. That means that someone has to pay my bills while I'm doing that. I, and the truth of the matter is, 
I'm sitting on 1,090 something subscribers on YouTube right now, um, 33 on BitChute, but I'm sure that'll go up at some point. And the whole problem is that every new video I make, I might get 10, 15 views in a month. So there's a dedicated core of people, but people aren't really coming back. Subscriber doesn't mean what it used to mean. And so I feel like there's a law of diminishing returns here. So if you would like to see better produced videos on this channel, if you'd like to see tutorials that are more generally useful than just one-off computer repair stuff, if you'd like to see these low effort, unscripted talking videos where the editing is minimal to none, just drop it into my template timeline and stitch a few things together and be done with it. If you'd, if you'd like to see that boost in quality and those better kinds of videos come out, see I'm already talking in circles, then go to jodybruchon.com or just look in the description. There are several ways to support me. I can make better stuff and I want to make better stuff but somebody's got to pay for me to justify cutting other things out to do it. Um, right now I'm in the process of migrating everything I have on YouTube over to also be on BitChute um, and less or so Rumble, Dailymotion, Brideon. I'm trying to expand what I have out to all these other alternative video hosting platforms other than YouTube. That's taking up a huge amount of time that frankly I don't have and you know, I, I need to do this stuff, but I've already put all this effort in to build all these existing videos. At some point, I'm going to have to make a call and just say that it's not worth it to continue trying to do this channel. And that's kind of the breaking point I'm at right now. I'm putting in a lot of work and not really getting any return on it. And, um, and you know what, if you have suggestions, go to the comments and leave some suggestions as to what you think I could do that would be helpful. What do you want to see? And I've asked this before, but I want to ask it again. What do you want to see? What kind of videos do you like? What, if you could have me do what you wanted, what would it be? Would it be higher production value political videos? Would it be higher production value tutorial videos? Would it be off-the-wall comedy stuff that's, you know, because I can do some mildly funny stuff. Um, just go look at my video history. You can find my short films. You can find silly bits. I've got playlists on my channel that, uh, or at least on my YouTube channel, I have playlists that you can go watch and you can see kind of what I do. Um, I also recently picked up a Panasonic GH5S, so I have a very nice camera to work with. Um, I just need something to put in front of it. I'm thinking that what I might do to test the waters, and this is one of the reasons that if you're really watching this, I see 15 minutes almost on the counter. If you're really watching this far, I really want your input. I think I'm going to make a last ditch effort to make a really good quality video. Just one really good video. Um, something that I'm, I, I produce highly that I can be proud of regardless of the way things go. Something that is more in line with what I want to be making. And I'm gonna put it on this channel as sort of a litmus test to see how well it does, to see if people share it and enjoy it and watch it and so on. I don't wanna fall into the trap of just making stuff that's clickbaity just to drive traffic and get money. But, you know, I'm going to make some, one video, one good video that's the kind of thing I want to make. I've had a lot of ideas bouncing around for a long time. There's actually a documentary, um, sort of a comical documentary on this obscure Japanese film trilogy that I've wanted to make for a while. Um, because, frankly, the videos, the, the films are absurd, really absurd. And inexplicable and I think that it would be entertaining for a lot of people but what I want to do with that is a higher level of production than what I do on this channel normally 
And that's really the big problem with all of it is that to justify high production value, I've got to be getting money for it. I've got to be getting something that justifies pumping all this time and effort into this scripting, planning, sets, whatever, all of it, everything, pre and post production and all of it, the whole process. Got to make that cheddar, you see, got to make that cheddar. In fact, you can cut that out and put it in your own videos if you want. Gotta make that cheddar. Might make a memify this segment for you to reuse. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening. I want you to know, especially if you've watched this far, I want you to know that I truly appreciate you and your support and, for, and just you listening to me and everything, everything that you're doing for me, even if you can't give me money, I don't want you to give me money if you can't, but even if you can't give me money, the fact that you watch, the fact that some of you leave me little comments, it's all really helpful. It, it helps me to continue wanting, wanting to do this. My problem at this point is just that I need money, you know? I need money to justify it. I, I can't push computer repair aside or slow that down. I mean, I really have to make a decision at this point. And if, if you guys can support me, then I'll drop the computer repair marketing like a hat and be done with that and start doing video production for you all full time. High quality content that you'd actually want to watch and that I can be proud of instead of continuing to do this. Um, there's that talking in circles again. Sometimes I talk for too long. Um, I'm about to have to get off in one mile, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this now and hope and pray that that stupid camera wobbling everywhere doesn't look quite as bad on the computer as it looks here. Um, take it easy, and I will, I hope to see what you have to say real soon now.